Praise the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration. We pray for Divine Retreat Center, Summersby. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open night and day upon the Divine Retreat Center, Summersby. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this year, temple, may the rejected feel accepted, the depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Entrance Antiphon Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome everyone to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Today let's remember and pray for all the newborn babies with health issues. We remember all such newborn babies today and we pray for them today. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good. By your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Be seated for readings. A reading from the first letter of Saint Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as sensual men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it. And indeed, you are still not ready for it since you are still unspiritual. Isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and wrangling that there is among you, from the way that you go on behaving like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual than your slogans? I am for Paul and I am for Apollos. After all, what is Apollos and what is Paul? They are servants who brought the faith to you. Even the different ways in which they brought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting, Apollos did the watering, but God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters, only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering 
and each will duly be paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers with God. You are God's farm and God's building. This is the word of the Lord. Our response. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people who has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. A response, happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. From the place where he dwells, he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who sh shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A response, happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Our response, happy the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord sent me to bring good news to the poor and freedom to prisoners. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever. They asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him and laying his hands on each he cured them devils too came out of many people howling you are the son of god but he rebuked them and would not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the christ when daylight came he left the house and made his way to a lonely place. The crowds went to look for him, and when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other, to the other towns, too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear loving children of God, today's Gospel, Jesus healed the mother-in-law of Simon. And once Jesus healed her, it is good to look at her response, what she does. The word of God speaks and she immediately got up and began to wait on them. So we all receive healings every day in our day to day life. When I say healing, that may not be a visible physical healing on our life. And it is good that I share with you don't give much importance of any kind of physical healings or don't build up our faith only based on healing. The best example Jesus gave today, when, Jesus, when people come to know Jesus was there in that particular house, so many uh, sick people, people with the possessed case, they all approached Jesus. Jesus healed and delivered everyone. It is true. But then Jesus wanted to move to the other place to proclaim God's news. That was important for Jesus. The most important thing for Jesus, the mission of Jesus 
to proclaim good news about the kingdom of God. But people in a way try to stop him to ask him to stay with us because we need to have more healings because they have experienced the healings in their life. It is good to note the, uh, good to note the response of mother-in-law of uh, Simon, St. Peter, because when she received healing, immediately she got up and started to wait on them, started to listen to them or started to serve them. Brothers and sisters, we all have received healings. May not be a very strong, mighty, visible physical healing, but everyday healings are taking place. The time we get up from the bed till the time we go to bed. Try to see healing in simple and ordinary things. Try to see big, major healings in our ordinary lives. And our response, just like the mother-in-law, just get up from where we are and try to listen to him. That is most important. All those who received the healing, it is their duty to try to listen to Jesus. Not to go back to their older lives. Not to go back again to previous life. If when, I'm, when I know that I received the healing, it's my responsibility to try to listen to Jesus. And Jesus teaches very clearly, healing is not everything. Especially the physical healings that may be what we are looking for, if we are. I'm not saying that everyone. But if we try to build up our faith based on healing, we will be totally disappointed in life. Thank God for the time that he allows us to travel in this world, offer our prayers to him for healing, but don't just limit our prayers only with the physical healing. Exactly what Jesus shared with us today. For Jesus, the most important mission, not about healing people, mm -hmm. proclaiming the good news. Proclaiming the good news, that is the biggest healing. I remember when I was doing my uh, seminary days, one of our priests, the first year uh, minor seminary, and the first year uh, after coming into the seminary, and that first year annual retreat, the, the retreat preacher started the retreat like this. What do you want, my dear loving brothers? Most of the brothers were trying to share to the priest, we want this healing and that healing, so many things. But the preacher, the preacher said to all the brothers, the most powerful healing is to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit in life. That means to know the mission of your life. To have the spirit of God in your life. To proclaim the kingdom of God. So let us try. There are two spiritual reflections. One, the response of mother-in-law of St. Peter, Simon. Her response to God after receiving healing. And second, healing is not everything. Most important thing, proclaiming the good news on earth. As we heard in the first reading, we are co-workers with Jesus to build up the kingdom of God in this world. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be acceptable in your work. We are praising to you, Lord. Wash me. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours. He humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave life eternal. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the, hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. Have mercy on all the newborn babies with their health issues. We pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Vincent de Paul, Saint Mary Magdalene, and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Lord. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter my, my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. For everyone who are not able to go to church physically today, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can do now following the prayers. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. The desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life. Amen. Communion and the
How great is the goodness, the law, that you keep for those who fear you. Let us pray. <clears throat> Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, Thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priests. O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests within the shelter of your sacred heart where none may harm them. Keep unstained the anointed hands which daily touch your sacred body. Keep unsullied their lips purple with your precious blood. Keep pure and unearthly their hearts, sealed with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruits, and may the souls to whom they have ministered to be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. <laughs> 